The Falcon 9, a very dependable rocket that has already performed many voyages to the International Space Station, propelled SpaceX into the public eye. The Falcon 9 and its Dragon capsule have even been approved by NASA to transport astronauts, a first for commercial aircraft. The Falcon 9 was also the first rocket to achieve a faultless propulsive landing, despite its small size. You'll need something with a bit more energy to get to far-flung exotic locations like Mars and the far side of the Moon. That's the SpaceX Starship. The Starship, as it'll be called, will be a totally reusable transportation system, capable of transporting people to Mars. One thing we can all agree with is that Elon Musk has made no secret of his desire to construct a colony on Mars. With his starbase in Texas, Elon Musk is one step closer to realizing his aim of creating a metropolis on Earth. After the SpaceX South Texas launch location in Boca Chica, it would contain all of the people who worked at the launch site as well as those who desire to fly on the rocket. It would also serve as a tourist attraction for those who want to see the incredible power of a launch. Musk envisions that it will eventually be the starting point for humans traveling to Mars, with each enormous Starship spacecraft capable of transporting about 100 people to the red planet at a time. They'll need dwelling space and infrastructure that only a town or city can supply while they prepare for the trip. As a result, Musk's concept of space travel may necessitate converting Boca Chica into Starship Texas. For the Starship and Super Heavy rockets, a novel pre-treatment technology will purify and chill natural gas into liquid methane fuel. The BFR Big Falcon rocket and ITS Interplanetary Transport System were the previous names for the vessel we now call Starship. Starship, in its most basic form, is a super heavy lifting rocket capable of transporting massive payloads to space. The Starship is the second stage of a two-stage rocket designed specifically for this purpose. The Starship is the most significant portion containing all of the cargo and crew, although it is placed atop a first stage known as the Super Heavy. In the summer of 2021, SpaceX stacked the two stages for the first time. According to SpaceX, Super Heavy is required to lift the spaceship out of Earth's gravitational well with enough fuel to travel to its destination. Because of the decreased gravity, a Starship may fly to its target, such as Mars, and then launch itself back into space without using Super Heavy. The Starship is totally reusable, but the verdict on the Super Heavy component is still out. SpaceX has grown better at landing Falcon 9 boosters, but this rocket is massive in comparison. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, has stated that the business intends to try to catch Super Heavy with a launch tower. But it doesn't seem simple, even for the company that created the Falcon 9. SpaceX has a leg up on the competition. Starship is a next-generation design, unlike the modest crew capsules that space organizations have previously utilized. Much of its internal area, which is 50 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter, will be used for residential quarters or adapted to transport freight. The super heavy rocket that will carry it to orbit is 70 meters tall and will be propelled by 29 Raptor engines, which are also produced in Texas by SpaceX. A quick overview of the spacecraft, the Starship spaceship will be launched on the super heavy rocket. The entire system known as Starship will tower 120 meters or 394 feet tall. Let's start with the spaceship. The stainless steel spacecraft with its nose cone and landing fins is reminiscent of rocket ships from the golden era of science fiction. Six extremely efficient Raptor engines, developed over a decade by SpaceX, are located at the back of the 50 meter or 160 foot long spacecraft. The combustion occurs in phases and the engine's design reduces the quantity of propellant lost. The propellant tanks are located around the center of the vehicle. These provide the Raptors with liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The fuel is methane and the oxygen works as an oxidizing agent, a chemical that causes the fuel to burn. Methalox is the name given to this combo. Although methane is an uncommon fuel for rocket engines, it may provide a significant amount of thrust. Refueling the Starship with Martian resources for the return voyage to Earth would impart a measure of self-sufficiency, making excursions both more practical and cost-effective. Let's go on to the rocket. Super Heavy will be 230 feet long and packed with 3,400 tons of cryogenic methalox. If you were wondering what the Starship would be employed for, 
The quick answer is Musk is planning to build roughly 40 cabins in the payload area near the front of the upper stage for long-haul voyages to Mars and back, which might take up to nine months each way. SpaceX will be able to deploy bigger swarms of Starlink broadband satellites using the Starship. Currently, the Falcon 9 can launch 60 microsatellites into orbit at once, but the corporation intends to have a constellation of 12,000 satellites in place before long. Depending on regulatory permission, this might grow by tens of thousands. The Starship's increased capacity will hasten this process, much to the dismay of the astronomers. NASA is also interested in Starship. They have selected SpaceX to supply the human landing system for the forthcoming Artemis lunar landing. The timing for these trips is still unknown, since they rely on the long-delayed space launch system. The HLS Starship will rendezvous with the Orion capsule in lunar orbit, where the crew will be transferred to SpaceX's vehicle. Once surface activities are completed, they will descend to the moon and return people to orbit. However, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is still employing legal ploys to keep SpaceX from winning the contract. When it comes to us random common folk hitching a ride, Elon Musk has made several predictions regarding Mars, including the establishment of a human colony as mentioned earlier in the video. Musk sees a fleet of more than 100 starships assembling in Earth's orbit to sail in mass from Mars every 26 months when the planet is closest to Earth. Even with SpaceX's Boca Chica facility's fast expansion, it is unlikely to happen anytime soon. Starship has completed multiple low-altitude tests as well as two high-altitude flights. However, one of the two ended in a crash landing after the engine failed. All of this is without mentioning the super-heavy stage which is required for all of the Starship's intended missions. While SpaceX has loaded Starship with a super-heavy rocket, it has yet to fly as of September 2021. According to SpaceX's most current projections, the earliest possible journey to Mars without a crew would be in 2024, but that is roughly the same time SpaceX will be laboring to prepare the Artemis HLS. It would not be shocking if Mars took a back place to more pressing problems. After all, the health consequences of a Mars expedition are yet unknown, but it does not bode well for settlement. Even though the SpaceX founder's timeframes have been optimistic at times, he has built a reputation for finally reaching his goals, no matter how lofty. Finally, you might want to know what makes the spacecraft unique. SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy Rocket together known as Starship form an entirely reusable transportation system meant to transport both humans and cargo to Earth orbit the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle capable of transporting more than 100 metric tons into Earth orbit. What sets Starship apart from the competition is that it truly pushes the frontiers of physics and what we know about materials. The Raptor engine will be the highest chamber pressure engine ever designed, the first production and flight-proven full-flow stage combustion engine, which is extremely difficult to design the largest and heaviest vehicle to ever fly when stacked on Super Heavy, and its landing maneuver belly flop to vertically transition will be the first of its kind. It's basically out of a science fiction movie. It does all this while weighing hundreds of tons in orbit, being swiftly reusable and repeatedly surviving re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Of course, the entire system is intended to be usable on other planets with no substantial modifications. Its mission is to investigate the solar system. How long do you think we, the ordinary people, would be taking a journey to Mars? And would you want to live in Elon's base that he is working on? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below.